Hi, first graders. It's Mrs. Krasan here. It is time for our read aloud for our story time. Last week, we read Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. We looked at Mo Willems as an author, and um, we read the book, and we looked at his characters, that he had pigeon, and he had a bus driver. We also looked at his craft, like the things that he does that are kind of unique, maybe, to him. And we saw that he does a lot of motion lines. And why does he do that? He does that to show how his characters move and for us to help us understand what they are doing. So I have another pigeon book, because we love our pigeon books. And I want us to take, pay special attention to that, to his motion lines, and see if it helps us understand what our character, and we know our character is the pigeon, what our character is doing. I don't know if the bus driver is going to be in this one, or if there'll be a new character besides that. So let's go ahead, without further ado, and get started on our book. When we're done with that, I want to show you some pigeon drawings that I got back from the kids in my class. They're so cute. So our new pigeon book is The Pigeon Has to Go to School. We've learned what that is. That's an exclamation point. So when we are maybe yelling, not just telling, we use an exclamation point. Turn this a little so you can see the whole thing. The pigeon has to go to school. Ah, wait! Don't read that title. Look at his face. Ah! All our motion lines. <sighs> Too late. Rats. Why do I have to go to school? This face. Hmm. I already know everything. Go on, ask me a question. Any question. Well, I know almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It is not pretty. Oh, stompy stomp feet. Oh, I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty not going to school baby wavy pigeon. Oh, that him when he was a baby. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really, really don't like it? What if, look at his big worried eye. <gasps> oh, what if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff, what about all the stuff? There is so much stuff to learn. So. What if I learn too much? My head might pop off. I'm Scared. What will happen at school? Ah! 
What if there is math? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one big I. What about lunch? What will the other birds think of me? Will finger paint stick to my feathers? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm just a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. Oh, he's sweating. His feathers are all frazzled. There should be a place to practice those things with experts to help you and books and classrooms and other birds to work and play with. Maybe a playground. Oh, this light bulb means, ha, huh, there is an idea. <laughs> that is school. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? Waza, waza, wa. <laughs> Step aside, coming through. The pigeon has to go to school. I read this on that first week of school a long, long time ago. So if you're in my class, you might remember that, but you might not because it was so long ago. And if you are in Ms. Zach's class, now you got to read The Pigeon Has to Go to School. So we noticed that he was using a lot of motion lines in this book. There's something else he used a lot of in his story. And I want to point that out. In his story, he used a lot of all caps. Almost every single page. What if I learn too much? Whenever he's really emphasizing his voice with experts, you can see that he's using all caps. Well, how am I? Even in the title, the pigeon has to go to school. So we noticed not only did he use those motion lines in this book, he also used all caps. And he's using all caps to let us know that it's important. This is a big, big thought. I wonder. If when we are writing, if we could try that, if we could use all caps for certain words, words that we want to stand out, words that are really important, I think we could probably try that. All right. I will add that to our list of author's craft, things that he does. I told you I would share some of my pigeon pictures. This is a student. Her name is Sam Yun. And I was saying earlier how I loved how she did her little neck, just like Pigeon here. This is Nelson's picture. And I loved how he kind of just made like a lot of feathers on his. He also gave us a background, which is kind of fun. And then I also have one. This is my student, Jameer. And I loved his little wing. And I loved his eye. I like how he's kind of like, looking backwards. It makes us feel like, hmm, pigeon's not so sure. So I hope that all of you had a chance to draw your pigeon. If you did not, you can go back and watch the video from last week and I give directions in there how to do it. You can always send it in with your homework packet. You can send it in to your teacher. You can take a picture of it and send it to Ms. Zach or send it to me. I would love to see them. I'm putting these up. So boys and girls, have a great day. We will meet again next week for another Mo Willems story. Thank you, everyone. Bye.